Welcome to the Olympia Advantage. We have developed this video to assist you in putting and keeping your Olympia in top condition. The Olympia power system is seat controlled for your safety. You have to be seated on the seat for the engine to start and continue running. When getting on the Olympia, always use a three-point contact mounting. Place one hand on the seat, not on the armrest, the other on the hand grip on the side of the dash, and a foot on the conditioner. Once seated, turn the ignition key. The tack will peak and then drop back to normal. Check the oil pressure gauge before engaging the gear shift. There is a low oil pressure alarm, but always do a visual check of the gauge. The Olympia has one forward gear and one reverse gear. You change gears by pushing the shifter knob downward and then moving the lever to the desired position. A note of caution. Make sure you come to a complete stop before trying to change gears. The speed of the Olympia is controlled directly by the accelerator. The tachometer on the dash will display the engine's RPMs. At no time should they exceed 3,000 RPM. The hydraulic power steering system combined with the studded tires gives you optimum control and maneuverability. Similarly, the power-assisted, self-adjusting brakes require only a moderate pressure to activate. The Olympia is delivered with the various parts stored inside the snow bin. After unloading the Olympia from the transportation vehicle, drive it to your maintenance area. Come to a complete stop and shift into park and leave the conditioner in the raised position. After parking the Olympia, Check to ensure there is adequate top, front, and side clearance. Push the top of the snow dump control button on the dash and hold until the snow bin is raised sufficiently to remove the parts inside. Remove the parts from inside the snow bin. The squeegee is the first component installed on the conditioner after it arrives at your facility. Carefully trim the squeegee so that it fits precisely to the runners. Attach the squeegee to the rear of the conditioner. Unpack the conditioner blade and put the magnetic protector guard on the blade. Make sure the blade has a light coating of oil. Put it on blocks at the rear of the conditioner. Using the blade hook, lift and slide the blade underneath the conditioner until the attachment holes line up. Tighten the blade hooks onto the conditioner and install the blade bolts and finger tighten. Remove the blade hooks and insert the remaining two blade bolts and tighten. Please note you can either tighten the bolts consecutively from one side to the other or from the center to one side and then from the center to the other side. Do not tighten the bolts at random as it will cause the blade to warp. With the conditioner in the up position, drive the Olympia out onto the ice surface. Lower the conditioner to the ice until the lift arms are against the down pressure stops. Drive the Olympia around the ice for two or three laps to cool the runners. Stop the Olympia and dismount using the three-point method. To test the top linkage, first loosen the lock nuts on both top links. Now. Loosen both top links by turning them counterclockwise until there is no tension. Remount the Olympia and drive forward six feet. Stop, turn off the Olympia, and dismount. Now, simultaneously re-tighten the top links by turning them clockwise, making sure to extend the top link to hand tight only. Secure the top links by tightening the lock nuts. Check to make sure the front of the runners are still on the ice surface. Drive the Olympia once around the rink. Check to see if the rear tires are leaving a full tread pattern on the ice. If there is too much down pressure on the conditioner, the rear wheels will lift off the ice, resulting in a loss of control. Too little down pressure will result in rippled ice and gouging in the corners. To adjust the down pressure, stop the Olympia, place it in park, and lower the conditioner until it is almost touching the ice surface. Properly dismount and turn the down pressure stop bolts in five full turns. Remount the Olympia and lower the conditioner until you have three tire lugs touching the ice. Shut off the Olympia and dismount.
Turn the down pressure stop bolts until they are tight against the down stops under the conditioner arms. Now, tighten the jam nuts. A note of caution. Every time you reset the down pressure, you have to then reset the top link adjustment as shown earlier. Retest the setting by driving the Olympia around the ice surface. Adjusting the blade once it is installed is a simple matter. Turn the blade adjustment hand crank to raise or lower the blade until the indicator arm completely fills the sight hole at the side of the conditioner. To check the level of the blade, slide a large coin from the back to the front along the runners of the conditioner until you feel it pass over the edge of the blade. The blade should be exactly level with the runners on both sides. If it is, the coin will slide smoothly over the blade edge. To adjust the blade, use a 1 and 1 8 inch wrench to loosen the top nut of the blade level adjusters located on each side of the rear of the conditioner. Then, turn the nut to raise or lower the blade into the proper position, which is exactly level with the bottom of the runner. Once the blade is at the proper level, tighten the nuts on the blade level adjuster. Once the blade adjustments are made, check to make sure the conditioner is sitting level on the ice surface. Test drive the Olympia doing a dry cut. If the blade is properly set up, you will see a feathered edge on the ice surface on both sides of the conditioner. If the cut is on one side or the other, then the blade needs to be raised or lowered on the driver's side to bring it precisely level with the runner. Once the blade and conditioner adjustments have been made, drive to the water filling station and fill the flood water tanks with hot water, approximately 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, Fill up the wash water tank, making sure to use cold water only. Drive back onto the ice and carry out the normal flood procedure. The Olympia is designed to make your job easier, faster, and trouble-free. Prior to starting the Olympia up each day, it is recommended you carry out these basic pre-start checks. First, make sure the fuel tanks are full. Second, check couplings and connections and turn on. Third, fill water tank. Fourth, connect towel bar. Fifth, remove water hose from tank. Sixth, if using a natural gas powered unit, make sure the gas fill line is disconnected. These pre-start checks should be made every time prior to commencing operation of the unit. Now you are ready for action with a simple turn of the key. Drive onto the rink. Lower the conditioner to the ice surface by pushing the conditioner button in the down position. Engage the horizontal and vertical augers by pushing the elevator button on the dash to the down position. Now, engage the board brush by pushing the board brush button to the down position. Drive slowly ahead, keeping the board brush close to the rink board. This will clean the snow on the edges of the ice surface into the conditioner. During the resurfacing operation, drive at a slow, steady speed between 1600 and 1800 RPM. Upon completion of a full circuit of the rink, retract the board brush. For Olympias equipped with the hydraulic edger, prior to driving onto the ice, first remove the safety shield from the edger and store in the compartment underneath the driver's seat, making sure to securely fasten the door. Remove the towel from the conditioner and store in a dry, clean area. Drive onto the ice surface, stop, and make sure all doors onto the ice surface are closed and secure. Now, press the hydraulic edger button. The edger will lower to the ice level and swing out toward the boards. Lower the conditioner to the ice surface with the conditioner blade in the up position. Carefully drive the Olympia alongside the boards until the edger is in full contact with the boards. Turn on the edger using the edger key on the dash. Drive slowly during the edging operation in order to produce a smooth ice surface against the boards. Maintain the edger's contact with the boards throughout the operation. Upon completion of the first circuit, press the edger button to retract the edger. Once the edger has been retracted, turn off the edger start key. Push the board brush button on the dash to extend and engage the board brush. Lower the conditioner blade and do a complete lap around the boards 
keeping the board brush in constant contact with the boards. Disengage the board brush by pushing the retract button. Do a second lap half a conditioner width from the boards. Do a third lap one conditioner width from the boards. Raise the conditioner, drive off the ice surface, and proceed to the snow dumping area. Stop the Olympia. Check the front, sides, and overhead clearance, and then push the snow dump button on the dash to raise the snow bin to its full height to empty the snow bin. Lower the snow bin. Stop and dismount using the three-point system and replace the safety shield on the edger. Reinstall the towel bar and then refill the water tanks. Turn on the elevator and watch to see if the snowbreaker moves up and down. The snowbreaker will cycle every eight seconds. If in doubt, you can use the snowbreaker override button on the dash and hold in until the blade of the snowbreaker moves to the top of the opening. Release the override button. Prior to returning to the ice, make sure to use the tire wash system of your Olympia, if so equipped. If not, then hose down the tires to prevent dirt and debris from being carried onto the ice. Return to the ice surface and drive alongside the boards and carry out the standard ice resurfacing pattern as shown in this diagram. To attain the best results, the wash water system should be used. To operate the wash water system, first turn on the water valve on the tower and then go the distance between two blue lines before turning on the wash water pump switch on the dash. The wash water system sprays water from the sides of the conditioner into the center in front of the squeegee creating slush. Excess water is then vacuumed up, taking with it any dirt or debris from the ice. The water is filtered and then returned to the wash water tank. Throughout the flooding process, make sure you maintain a slow, steady speed. Three quarters of a lap prior to completion of the flood, turn off the wash water by pushing the button on the dash and then turn off the wash water valve on the tower and finish the flood. Just prior to finishing the flood, turn off the flood water valve on the tower. Bring the Olympia to a stop just prior to leaving the ice surface. Push the conditioner control button on the dash to raise the conditioner to the maximum position. Proceed carefully to the snow dumping area. Prior to dumping, check to ensure there is sufficient head, side, and front clearance. Then, push the bottom of the snow dump button to lower the snow bin to its operational position. If the dumping area is outside the facility, make sure you wash the tires of the Olympia prior to returning to the ice surface. When not in use, the Olympia should be parked in an area where the temperature is above freezing and the conditioner in the up position to prevent damage to the blade. Also, leave the snow bin partially raised to drain out any remaining snow or water, thus allowing the bin interior to dry out and prevent lime buildup. Always remember, when using propane fuel, turn off the fuel supply prior to turning off the engine. In the unlikely case the Olympia will not operate, the Olympia is equipped with an emergency hand pump system located under the driver's seat. Open the door and remove the jack handle. Locate the emergency hand pump switch inside the seat box and push the button to the hand pump position. The emergency pump switch light on the dash will come on. Insert the handle and pump it all the way up and down. The conditioner will raise first, followed by the snow bin. Warning! Once the conditioner is in the up position, stop pumping and move the Olympia off the ice surface to the snow dump area. Check clearances and then resume hand pumping to raise the snow bin. Once the snow bin has been raised sufficiently to place the safety bars in position, stop pumping and put the safety bars down and fasten with the safety pins. Return to the emergency hand pump and move the switch to the drive position. You can now proceed with the repair of the Olympia. Caution! Never leave the emergency hand pump in the hand pump position as it will burn out the solenoids. Also, the emergency hand pump system will only raise, not lower the conditioner and the snow bin. 
The Olympia is designed with you, the end user, in mind. By following these basic procedures, you will find that operating the Olympia is safe, easy, and trouble-free.